And as I made clear, including in my State of the Union address, your president, my entire administration, has your back. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We got to talk about a trans influencer who has been banned from the White House after video surfaced of them flashing their fake boobs and being ratchet at the White House. Now, I'm pretty sure all of you have seen or heard of the pride event, pride parade that Joe Biden and the current administration threw at the White House in honor of Pride Month. Um, you know, there have been presidents to acknowledge the LGBT community, but never quite like this. Um, and before just to make some comments before I get into this video, um, like I said, what this trans influencer did was ratchet. But I mean, it's par for the course of these type of events. You know, um, I don't know if Joe Biden or whoever gave the AOK -OK on this event has ever seen a pride event or footage of a pride event or knows what goes on during pride parades and things like that. But, you know, it, it's much more what we what this trans influencer did is nothing compared to what you'll see at actual pride events It's nothing scale scales to, at a at a two out of ten compared to what you would see at a real pride event you know all types of degeneracy you know what i mean um and i really do think that it's i think that it's it's crazy the grift that joe biden and this current administration has going for the lgbt community and i really think it's gone too far i know a lot of people in the lgbt community are you know, desperate for advocacy, but to think that a man like Joe Biden and this administration actually cares as much as they say they do is ludicrous. And you heard the video I played in the intro, you know, he's all about the LGBT community. He's all about them. He's not for patriotic Americans who love the country. He'll put them, he'll put their flag in the middle and, you know, just totally disrespect the American flag and what it means to be American. You can show respect to the LGBT community without putting up this appearance that the American identity is pride and the American identity is LGBT. You know, that alienates so many people because that is not the American identity. I really think what Joe Biden and this administration is doing is completely making a mockery out of the president's seat, making a mockery out of the White House, and making a mockery out of this country. But with that being said, we're about to get into this. I'm going to show you guys the footage of this trans influencer. And in this clip, we'll see what they did that got them banned from the White House. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe while we're watching. Now let's roll it. Welcome to the White House. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Year. Happy Pride Life. Yeah. Transgender children. You are beautiful. You are heard. You belong. You are understood. You are loved. And you belong. Yeah. Some of the bravest and most inspiring people I've ever known. I mean, I'm you're welcome. You're good folks. Can we take a little video? Hi, Mr. President. It is an honor. France rights are human rights. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> All right, so you guys saw that. At about 52 seconds in the clip I just played is where a trans influencer flashed their fake boobs on the White House grounds. I blurted it out because I don't want no strikes or, you know, nothing against my channel just to be safe. But, yeah, like I said in the intro, just ratchet. Acting ratchet on the White House grounds. And, you know... It's no shock, really. It's no surprise. I mean, you know, it don't take a rocket scientist to to tell you that something like this might happen. And worse things may have happened. We might not, you know, it, it could have been much worse things happening there at the White House that we didn't catch, we didn't see on video. But you got people taking their tops off, just being trashy at the White House, you know, making the White House look trashy. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just, it's not because they're, LGBT is not because they're, you know, trans and gay. That's not why it's trashy. It's trashy because the way that they act and the way that they conducted themselves and doing things like getting naked 
on the White House. This Joe Biden, the first president ever to have an event where people flashing and getting naked and showing their fake boobs and showing their 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 breasts and their chest at the White House. Good job, Joe Biden. So the trans influencer made a video addressing being banned from the White House. And I'm going to get into that. But before I do, I want to read this article really quick. Now, disclaimer, in this article, they use the word she addressing Rose Montoya as a she. We all know the truth. We all know that's a man, wolf in sheep's clothing. But, you know, I'm going to just read this article and get it out the way. It's really quick. The White House has banned trans influencer Rose Montoya after she flashed her breast at the president's by at President Biden's pride party, pride party at the White House, SMH, blasting the stunt as inappropriate and disrespectful. Montoya, 27, was barred from the executive mansion on Tuesday as footage went viral of her pulling her shirt and cupping her breast moments after meeting Biden on the South Lawn at a pride party Saturday. In a statement to the Post on Tuesday, a White House spokesperson said she flouted basic etiquette and is a persona non grata at future events. This behavior is inappropriate and disrespectful for any event at the White House, the flag said. It is not reflective of the event we hosted to celebrate LGBTQI plus families or the hundreds of other guests who were in attendance. Individuals in the video will not be invited to future events. The polyamorous model and trans rights advocate who grew up in rural Idaho did not immediately respond to an interview request. In her fast-cut edited IG clip, Montoya captured her meetings with the president and the first lady, Jill Biden. It's an honor. Trans rights are human rights, Montoya said to the Democrat as they shook hands. Montoya, later, she was standing there with between two shirtless men in front of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Are we topless at the White House? The person recording the video said. She shared the clips with her social media followers and later slapped back at critics claiming she did not violate any Washington, D.C. laws. And that's what we're about to get into right now. It has recently come to my attention that conservatives are trying to use the video of me topless at the White House to try to call the community groomers, etc. And I would just like to say that, first of all, going topless in Washington, D.C. is legal. And I fully support the movement in freeing the nipple because why is my chest now deemed inappropriate or illegal when I show it off? However, before coming out as trans, it was not. All you're doing is affirming that I am a woman. All you're doing <laughs> is saying that trans women are women because for some reason, people like to sexualize women's bodies and say that they are inappropriate. My trans masculine friends were showing off their top surgery scars and living in joy and I wanted to join them. And because it is perfectly within the law in Washington DC, I decided to join them and cover my nipples just to play it safe because I wanted to be fully free and myself I had zero intention of trying to be vulgar or be profane in any way. I was simply living in joy, living my truth and existing in my body. Well, that's too bad. You crossed the line regardless. Um, I don't understand why, not just these people, but I don't understand why people in general don't understand that there is a difference between men and women being topless anyways. I mean, you know... Sure, men have more leniency to be topless because a woman going topless is definitely seen as overtly sexual. But I mean, and that's just reality. You know, it's du double standards are just a part of reality that everybody has to face. But to address this person saying that, you know, this this makes it concrete that they are a woman is just is absolutely ridiculous. Like you weren't born this way. You had to get cosmetic surgery to have those things bouncing on your chest. They're not even real. You could probably pop them and inflate them or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, to, to try to cope as if the way um, this person behaved themselves was actually classy is crazy to me. We all saw the video. Like I said, they... Not just this person, but that entire the entire group of you know people flashing their chests and this and that and th that whole event was just 
it was just it was disgraceful disgraceful to the White House. It was disgraceful to this country. I didn't know that being topless in DC was legal. I'm planning on going to DC in August. I'm planning a trip, so we'll see what's up with that. I don't know if this person is just making that up, but whatever. Closing statements. Um, the video that we saw, you know, flashing boobs and chests and stuff like that at the White House, you know, shows zero etiquette. It's it's not classy. It's ratchet. But like I said, you know, if if I worked at the White House and they asked me, hey, should we do a pride event? You think they'll, you know, respect the 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 White House grounds? You think it'll be nice and respectful and classy? No. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't have a pride party at the White House. Just look at what happens at other pride parties. Look at how they behave themselves at pride parades. The writing's on the wall with that. You know, this was this was dumb. I think this just further lessens and um, decreases the credibility that Joe Biden has and this administration has. And more Americans are losing respect for him. More people around the world are losing respect for him. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to end this video at. So please let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe on your way out the door. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.